Have you been trying to work out how to make 3D printed bas reliefs or just bas reliefs in general using a starting point of a 2D image? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and how I managed to 3D print these bas reliefs. I'm going to show you the whole process. So let's get straight into it. So we're in Canva and today we're going to be editing some images and I'm going to be getting some images ready to do some 3D depth maps and then I can go on and do some STL files with those depth maps for 3D printing. Now, first up, I've got to edit the images to make sure they're good enough and they're set up right for, for that process. Now, I've already got some image gener generations that I've done, but they're not good enough resolution and they're not framed up properly how I, how I want to do them. So the first job, I've already loaded them in. I'm in Canva, as you can see, and I'm just going to create the size. Now, I've been doing some custom bars lately um smart panels and the size that i've been doing i don't know if you can get that on the camera but that's the riddler for a batman set i've got coming and i'll just quickly give you a sneak preview that's the box how cool is that but they're coming soon and these these size panels are 50 mil by 75 mil so five centimeters by 7.5 so i've got a custom size so i just click that and this is going to be the template as you can see here this is the template that I'm going to be dropping my images in and if I can frame them right, get a good composition, we'll go ahead and then we'll do the depth map. So first up, oh, if we just move the controls, first up, we've got, I've done some cool generations. We'll go for, who should we have a look at? We'll go for this guy first. Now, if you're of a certain age, a bit like myself, you'll know who this character is. This is my bit of fan art of Skeletor from the He-Man um, cartoon. Used to love He Man growing up by the power of Grey Skull. Yeah, I love it. I can remember when I was a little kid, my mum took me to Tesco's and I had my action figure of He Man. And um, I was absolutely gutted. I dropped his little sword that I think it's called the Master Sword. I dropped his sword down one in the, in the freezer aisle, in one of the freezers. And the freezers had like these metal grills and it went down there and I couldn't get it. I never told my mum, but yeah, I was gutted. I was absolutely gutted. I lost my He-Man sword for my action figure. But anyway, forget all that. Right, here we are. As you can see, when it drops straight in, now, just as, as it is, that's quite a nice composition. But I think we want to zoom in. I think we need to zoom in a little bit more. Now, it's a little bit tricky because we're going to lose a bit, but we'll reframe it because I'd like to get that in. And I like to offset things if we can. Okay, that's looking cool. I'd like a little bit more of his arm, so we'd have to go slightly smaller. Because if you have just things sat straight in the middle, compositionally wise, it's not very good. You want to use something called the, the rule of thirds and of other things, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. But I think we're going to be looking something like that. If I just move him across. Yeah, if we go something like that. Just a little bit more. I want to get a bit more of his army. I think that's going to look really cool. And when you remember, it's going to be on a bar that size. I think that's going to work quite well. So that's the the framing I want for it. Now, we've just got to, if I just zoom in, you'll see it's pretty grainy. It's it's what they call pixelated. It's it's not the best of quality, as you can see see there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to up the quality in, in, in Canva. Really, really simple. Let's move myself. I just click the image. And you come down here, there's a little tool called Image Upscale. And you click that and you can choose what resolution you want to go to. So I'm just going to click the maximum you can do, which is four, and click up, upscale. And it'll do that now. And it'll just make it a lot of better clarity, better quality. And that's what we need for the depth map. And then we'll we'll alter some of the colours because we want a bit more contrast. We want the light and darks to be, as I say, more contrasting. So when we build the depth map, it will be a bit higher and ease, easier for the process. And that's what we're looking for when we're processing our images. Really pleased with this generation. Come out really cool. And I, I just love how he's got the ram's head on his cane. It's just, yeah, it reminds me back of the days, Masters of the Universe and He-Man. So there it is. It's dropped in. As you can see over here, you've got a before and after. You can't really tell very much by that little image. Maybe on his skull a little bit, you'll see it's a bit better. But we'll click replace and it'll drop in on the screen now. So I'll click replace and then we'll have a zoom in and have a look. And it should be better. Look at those eyes there. Sometimes it takes a little minute to do it. And as you can see there, it's dropped in. And that's a lot better. It's a lot crisper. If I just zoom in, 
you'll see that's a lot better now and that's more more of the type of image we need to do the depth map so once you got it to that stage that's done now so we'll save that out so i just come up here share download we leave it all as it is and you click download and it's simple as that and that's the first image done so now we'll move on to the second one so we'll just delete that out go back upload so i think we'll have a look at this batman now this is good I re again i really love this generation but as you can see it's a square one so we've, the framing might be difficult on this to get it right to make it look cool I mean, look at look at Robin. I just love his face. How moody he's looking. How moody he's Robin looking. Oh, look at that. I'm happy with that. I think that's cool. I'm just debating, do we get all the Batmans? I think Batman needs a little bit more, doesn't he? But look at that. That is so cool. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. And and the same again. If you if we zoom in, as you can see, really, really not good quality. Needs dealing with. And we'll just do the same process again. We'll just upscale it. And this will ensure we get a good depth map creation. So there we go, it's dropped in up there, and I can see from just up there how how cool it's come out. It's a lot sharper, which we need. So we just click replace and then that'll pop it on the screen. I just I, I just love Rob, Robin's face. So funny. Right, there we go, it's uploaded. And as you can see now when we zoom in, it's a lot better quality. And that's going to give us a nice depth map. And also, that'll give us a nice, nice printed box. As I've showed you before, that image will work well for making the, the boxes. Because I have I have done a Batman one before, as you can see. Printed by Nerd UK. Done a fabulous job. But all these are coming soon. I'll show you, I might as well show them. Yeah, We've also got the Penguin. Very cool. Robin, of course, the old school Robin. And last but not least, we've got the Joker two-tone box. It's so cool. And there's the Joker. So all those are coming soon. Well, let's get back to the job at hand. So now once we're here, we're going to save this out now. Exactly the same. Just share, download. And it's simple as that. Now what I'll do, I'll rinse through the other few images I've got. I'll just show you we've got... Let me just delete them, mate. We've got a karate one that I'd like to do, and I think she's really cool. And also, we've got this lady here, of course. We've got Wonder Woman, which is a very cool generation. So, again, just got to work out how best to, to sort it. But I'll do these now, and then I'll show you how I actually make the death maps to the 3D printing. Now we've got all the photos sorted, and the images are ready to make into depth maps. This is how I do it. I've come over to Sculpt OK online. It is an online program. It is paid, but I've got a link below in the description that will give you some fr free credits that you can try it out. It's well worth messing around with and seeing what kind of results you can get. So what we need to do is there's lots of different tools, but we're just going to be looking at this one, the depth, depth map creator. So we click that. Very simple. I'm just going to do the base, the most basic thing. So if you see down here, image dimensions, we're going to click basic. And it's depth map generation. We're going to click there and we're just going to put our first one in. So that's number one. And as you can see, that's a skeletal one. I think this is so cool. Such a cool image. And it just loads in there. And now we're going to select color image. You've got line art, portrait, but this is a color image. So we're going for color image and we're just going to click draw. And it's just going to do it in, as you'll see there, it says the drawing is about to start. And what this is going to do now, it's going to give us four little depth maps. And we're going to choose which one we want to use for our process. Now, of course, depending on what you want to do with the um, depth map will depend which one you choose. As you can see, the first one and the second one that are quite different. And also the third one for me, through experience, because I know I'm going to be using the third one because it gives me the details that I want. So basically what I'll do, I'll just show you now a quick generation of what an STL file it will make, what, what it will look like in a 3D rendering. So I'll just click here and no watermark preview. And this will show you a 3D render, a quick 3D render. As you can see, it's got some texture mapping on, but we'll turn that off. 
because that's what I'm interested in. I want to make a bass relief and look at that. How cool is that? Now, we've, over here on the right-hand side, you've got some dials and some other options you can do. Model scaling. Now, I'm going to increase that because I want more detail. So, as you can see, we've got even more detail. And at the bottom here, relief density. If we go that way, it will give us even more detail again. And look at that. I'm sure you agree. That's really cool. And for me, for my silver pouring, I need to make that into a 3D print. So I'm now going to show you how I do that. So I'll come back here, Sculpt OK, and I'm going to download and save that one out. Confirm. Now that's saved to my computer now. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly the same process now with the other images. As you can see, there's the Batman and Robin one loading in. I'll do that. Then I'll meet you across and show you how I get it ready for 3D printing. So now to get it ready for the 3D print, I'm just over in Blender and I'm just going to tidy up. I'm just going to resize it and get it looking right so we can get it printed out and we can save out the STL file. Now, you've just seen me do the depth map. So we created the STL file from that depth map. Now we're just going to import it into Blender. Uh, Let's get a thought. There we go. And as you can see, there it is. Oh, turning round. And there's our rendering. We'll just get it in the center of the, the screen. And now all I'm going to do now is just resize it to the size that I want it. As you can see, it's got a nice, nice relief on it, a nice bass relief. It's nice, nice depth to it. So first up, we just want that to exactly to be 75. There you go. And 50, because if you remember, that's the size of the bars I'm doing. If you remember, these boxes, these bars, I'm a standard panel now, I should say. Is 75 by 50 and that's the size we want in hand so that's what we've done there and now the thickness of it that just means the relief how thick it's going to be i like to have that set at five mil so we just change that to five and basically that's it i've just got to save that out now and get it across to cura and get it sliced for the 3d print so i'll save that out now and i'll meet you across in cura now, I've just opened Cure up now, and what we've got to do, we've got to bring in the file. So we're going to do the Skeletor. I've done the other ones, but we'll do the Skeletor for this tutorial. So it's just loading in. Now, basically, we've just got to set up the print settings that will give us the best print for what we want it to, for what we want to do with it. So we want it. What I've found is I like to stand it on the edge, print it on the edge. Now, you might think that's pretty crazy, but you get a lot better detail. If we were to lay it flat, you get a lot of layer lines on top. But doing it this way, you get a nice crisp print. Now, the print settings, I've already got a custom profile set up called Bars on Rafts. So, we'll disc, discard all those changes because I want my preset. And it's all preset. All my information and settings in, are in there. If you are interested in this type of thing and you want to learn how to silver pour, how to do this in Cura, how to generate images, 3D printing, I am thinking about doing a little course. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be yet, a lot of little community or video tutorials. But if you are interested, there's a little form below in the description. If you fill that out, I'll get back to you as soon as I've worked out what I want to do. So here, here it is. So now basically what we've got to do, we've got to slice this up into lots of little slices so the 3D printer can print each layer. So what we do now, we just click it, we make sure everything's okay. Yeah, all the sizes are okay. I'm just going to make sure that's 75. We'll just change that to 75. And that's five. And as you can see, all the settings are cool. And now we're going to slice it. So we just quick click slice. Two hours, 42 minutes. That's fine. We'll save it to disk. And then I'm just going to show you the preview, how it actually works. Now, as you'll see, the printer will going to print each layer and it will just go up and up and up and up until it's done. So you can see that if we press play, you'll see the actual, see the print head there going across and that's what it's going to print. And that's why it takes so long, two hours, 42 minutes. But the, the settings that I've got here and the way I've generated the very starting image gets us to this result. So I'm going to now speed up time and show you the actual 3D print after it's printed.
So here we are. After those couple of hours, you'll see this is the bass relief we've got. And I'm sure you'll agree it's come out really cool. As you can see, look at the relief there if you're getting it. It's come out really cool. And that's how I make my 3D bass reliefs for my 3D printing. Of course, this would also work for CNC, CNC carving or laser engraving with the depth maps and the STL files. So there you go. That's the full process from start to finish.